An MRI scan is a really useful test to have done as it allows doctors to get very clear pictures of the inside of your body. Frank has been asked to come to the x-ray department. This is sometimes also called radiology. A doctor has recommended Frank have an MRI scan. This could help with Frank's treatment. When Frank receives his letter, he is able to tell the x-ray department if he needs extra help. For example, he might need a longer appointment. You can call the number on any letter you are sent if you need extra support. Or, if you are already in hospital, you can tell the staff looking after you. Frank must also tell the x-ray department if he has any allergies. Some allergies might stop him having an MRI scan. If you're pregnant, or think that you might be pregnant, then please contact the hospital on the telephone number in your letter. You should also contact the hospital if you have a pacemaker or have had any metal put in your body. We also need to know if you may have metal in your eyes. Staff will then check if we can still do your test. Frank also receives a questionnaire with his letter, asking for important information the x-ray department need about Frank before he has an MRI scan. This includes Frank's name, date of birth, and if he has any health conditions that the x-ray department need to know about. He needs to complete this questionnaire and bring it with him to his appointment. His support worker, Kath, helps him to fill it in. Frank and Kath arrive at the x-ray department. They talk to the receptionist. Frank shows the receptionist his appointment letter. When you arrive in the x-ray department, you will need to check in at the reception desk where you will be asked to confirm your full name, date of birth and address. You will then be asked to take a seat in the waiting area. The radiographer meets Frank and Kath in the waiting area. She checks that the full name and date of birth the hospital has for Frank is correct. The radiographer will go through the questionnaire with Frank. This questionnaire makes sure Frank has no metal on him or inside him. This is very important. Kath must also answer the questionnaire to make sure she has no metal on or inside her. Frank then gets changed into a hospital gown. Frank then goes into the MRI room. Kath can come in with him as his support. The radiographer explains what is going to happen next. She explains that an MRI scan can last for 45 minutes, sometimes longer. She explains that Frank will have to lie very still, but the examination does not hurt at all. She asks Frank to lie down on the bed. She gives Frank a buzzer, which he can use to tell people he wants to come out. The scanner is noisy, so Frank wears earplugs. She puts a frame around Frank's head. This helps him to keep still. It also helps the scan to take the clearest images possible. She raises the bed up so that it is level with the scanner. The radiographer then presses the button and Frank starts to go inside the scanner. And once inside the scanner, he can listen to a music CD that he has brought with him. Frank must stay very still for a long time. This helps the scanner read inside Frank's body. Frank is relaxed inside the scanner. Frank can hear the radiographer speaking to him through a speaker and sometimes he will be asked to hold his breath for a few seconds. This helps the radiographer get really clear pictures of the inside of Frank's body. When the scan has finished, Frank is brought out on the bed. He can take out his earplugs. He has a few moments to sit up. The radiographer explains that the results will be sent to his doctor. Frank is free to get changed and can now leave the department. After your appointment, the results will be sent to the doctor who sent you for the test. You will not be given any results on the day. The radiologist looks at Frank's results on a computer. This helps the hospital to decide if Frank needs to come back or if Frank needs treatment. Today, the MRI scanner is looking inside Frank's head, but sometimes an MRI can look inside your leg, stomach, or another part of your body. If you have any worries or feel that you have any further needs, please contact the hospital on the number in your letter. We can arrange a slightly longer appointment time and if needed, we can arrange an interpreter.